Namaste. How's it going? You're probably at the stage of your Kapotasana practice where you can already place your hands lightly on the floor behind you. But it feels like, seems like your feet are too far, far away, like you're so close yet too far. Yes, you're not alone. It took me a long time. Back then, they're my weakness, they're my weak points. And yeah, through time, dedicated practice, yeah, and faith, yeah, really trust your practice, you'll be able to get there. So for today, let me share with you drills. I do this myself. Actually, I'm preparing for my back being practice already. So why not share with you how I do it myself? All right, so you can apply the drill first in the Kaputasana. Of course, you warm up already before you do this drill, right? Yeah, you might sway the side to side. Yeah, you may circle around those hips there, forward and backwards. Inhale as you move forward, up and backwards. And then knees walk, and then rub the shoulders around. Yeah, so the drill has something to do with yeah, falling from side to side, swaying from side to side, and looking from shoulder to shoulder, while you yeah, do some internal adjustment within, okay? Cup, uh, Ustrasana first, breathing in. Good, in here, yeah, reach for one foot, and then while you're doing that, moving the opposite arm up, and then you can walk the knees. While you're gazing over the shoulder, Good. And then the principle is, yeah, as you allow this yeah, arm and the shoulders to relax, yeah, so you're opening the opposite side. All right, and then the other one, where yeah, you might lightly recenter first and adjust the knees. All right, lifting that arm. All right, you may loosen this arm and then look over that shoulder, breathing in this arm forward, up and backwards, and yeah, both sides already. And then keep walking the knees. And then here, you know, rub the shoulders from side to side. As you look over them, yeah, you can already yeah, sway here. Forward and loose some. Inhale. Forward them and backwards. And you can you know, free your hands a bit. And then here you feel like the shoulders and the arms yeah, can relax. And then your arm bones, your, your shoulder blades actually slide under and it will assist you in pushing your spine, the chest forward and upwards. All right, and then come back. Beautiful. Okay, and then walk the knees. This time side to side stretching like this. You can rub around in circles. Coiling and spiraling forward and backwards. Yeah, side to side. Okay, good. Another drill you can do is to do one, uh, one side. Yeah, so like the Ekapada Kapotasana, but we're not doing the full position. Just step in one foot forward, right, reaching up, and then you can lift yeah, that back leg, and then coiling from hip to hip, forward, upwards. You might move this arm bone away from the chest, you might even sway the bicep forward and backwards. Good. And lifting, reaching up, and then you can grab hold of the foot. Yeah. Looking over that shoulder. Yeah, as the same, at the same time, moving this arm bone forward, upwards. Good. And then you can dangle the arm and swaying the arm forward and backward. Good. So by swaying yeah, the limbs and the periphery, somehow you gain access to the inner linings, um, which commonly are quite tight and fused. And as you work through those lines and joints, you'll be able to gain access through those inner linings, therefore allow the spine to open more. All right, and let's do the opposite leg. Coiling from side to side, spiraling. Yeah, you can even touch the floor with the opposite hand. But... All right, and then you may find you know, that you can access center and up, but you're not reaching. Yeah, you can sway here, forward. You can even circle the arms around. Yeah, if it's slight, you can place one hand on the ground, reaching up. And lose it. All right. So if you notice, it's like yeah, you are doing a random dance within. Yeah? Good. And then side to side again. 
<laughs> so let's apply all of this in the practice of the Kapotasana. So kneeling one. Good. Rub the shoulders around. Swinging the bicep. As your biceps swing back, inhale the chest up. Exhale. All righty. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Inhalation, and then just apply the many tutorials I've shared with you about backbending. Exhale. All right. Yeah. Forward, and then you can look over that side. You might be able to see yeah, that foot behind you already. Recenter. Forward and up, bending the elbows, and look over the opposite shoulder. All right. You might open the elbows. And then hang, you can sway like this, looking over that shoulder as you move forward. Good. And then release, opposite side. And then, then you will just feel like your shoulders yeah, separate from the rest of the midline. Good. Looking over that shoulder. Good. So you know that your heels, that your toes, that your feet are already there, very accessible. And then for the final one, you may lightly loosen back, forward, up, good. And you're reaching for your heels. It's all right to lift the head, so you can do finer adjustment, well, looking over shoulder to shoulder, so your shoulder blades can just slide under and upwards. All right, now breathing in. Yeah, you may even walk the knees here. If it's slight, walking inside, walking internally to the midline. All right, and then breathing in and exhale. Inhale, clip, and exhale. Yeah, elbows on the ground. And then just breathe. Beautiful. To come up, inhaling, you may place your hands to press or continue rising up. Inhale. And exhale, loosen lightly backwards. And adjust the knees again to walk to the midline. And give your shoulders yeah, some rubbing around. Yes, yeah. The latter stages of Kapotasana is how we can break free yeah, from the heaviness of the anatomical parts getting in the way. Namely, your arms, the rest of the shoulders, as well as some deep stagnation clogging your inner hips. So by walking the knees, by swaying like this, you know, by swinging the bicep, and then like you're doing yeah, some yeah, swinging up in the air, you know, looking over from shoulder to shoulder while extending the opposite side away from yeah, the spine, therefore you can yeah, fully open up, and there's no, well, the challenge is still there, <laughs> yeah. Back bends are very challenging, but yeah, it's manageable, it's doable, and yeah, you know that you are already close, and therefore your brain thinks, oh, my feet are there, all I need to do is to use that internal vision to be able to reach safely backwards.